Hey, what's up, folks? Nick here. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to whip up that cool sticky gradient in Figma. Also, at the end of this video, I'll show you how to get a playground with all the practice assets. So, let's dive into the hands on stuff and see how it all comes together. First, let's prepare the gradient component. Create a frame and fill it with a light gray color. Add a circle, apply a gradient to the fill, and choose the angular gradient type. Remove the transparent gradient point and change the color of the remaining one. Add four more points and adjust their colors. Make two copies. Apply the overlay mode to the first circle. Place the circles inside the frame. Select the frame, press Enter twice to select all the contents of the frame. Apply the layer blur effect and set the blur value to 100. Create a component and add a variant. Apply Auto Layout and choose Horizontal Alignment. In the second variant, rotate each circle by 90 degrees and slightly move them. Now select the second variant, make one more copy by pressing Command D for Mac or Ctrl D for Windows. In the third variant, shift and rotate the circles by another 90 degrees. Switch to Prototype and connect the first variant to the second. In the interaction settings, choose the after delay mode and set the minimum delay. Also, apply a linear smart animation with a duration of 2 seconds. Connect the second variant to the third and third to the first one with the same settings. Now let's add a noise effect for more atmosphere. In the playground, I've left frames for you with a noise texture. Select frames and apply the component set. Switch to Prototype and connect the first variant to the second one. In the Interaction settings, choose the After Delay mode and set a delay of 100 milliseconds. Connect the second variant to the third and the third one to the first using the same settings. Great, we are almost done. Now let's add the components to the mockup. Copy the initial version of each component and place the noise effect above the gradient. Apply the Salt Light Blending mode to the component with noise. Select both components and group them by pressing Command G for Mac or Ctrl G for Windows. Drag the group into the mockup, switch to the prototype and launch it. Congratulations, now you know how to create Mesh Gradient in Figma. Check out my Patreon through the link in the description and grab your playground with all the tutorial materials. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you in the next frame.